Hey folks, we are finally back at Universal Studios Hollywood. I did not plan the vlog today, but on the drive down, I actually had an idea of something that Disneyland was doing before. Well, not Disneyland per se, but vloggers at Disneyland. They were checking the most expensive item at Disney parks. So I thought nobody's done that at Universal Studios yet, and I'm sure there's gotta be a statue or collectible or jewelry or something that is the most expensive item. It may not be as extravagant or as crazy as what Disney parks has, but I figure it's something we can check out today. My first time back in the park since maybe June or July 2020, I just never got a chance to renewing my pass, but 2022, we're back at Universal Studios and let's have a great time. They do have on-site testing if you don't have the vaccine. The Chocolate Emporium is still being built. I think it's been what, like two years since this has been uh, underway or under construction. So let's see how much longer they take. This shop on CityWalk is still empty, or I guess the restaurant. It was Ludo Bird at one point, then they were selling butterbeer. So next to the Universal store. So they are doing the vaccination check here before the actual ticket entrance area. So far, the first item I found is this chess set i think it's a harry potter yeah it's harry potter chess set 300 dollars. i'm pretty sure we can beat that amount but this is a pretty cool pretty fancy chess set we have some art prints that are 6.95 so these are now the uh, current top piece and this one is the same price also 6.95 the sorting hat is actually not a bad price. It is $60. It has different sounds and motions. So nowhere near the most expensive, but still a cool item. Now I haven't checked the prices yet, but I have a feeling we might find something more expensive here. Those autograph pieces range, you can't see them too well, but they're about three, 400. Ooh, this statue is 825 pretty cool 225 545 82 so we are currently at 825 ho oh, ho here we go two thousand dollars a back to the future guitar signed by michael j fox that's pretty cool Johnny Be Good guitar. It is currently our most expensive item here. 2,000, can we beat 2,000? Do you guys think so? I saw this Dominic Toretto cross necklace and I thought it looks really cool. It actually looks like a decent necklace over here in this big display box, but there was no price or anything and they aren't on display here. I just asked the uh, cast member or the employee and he said it's 25 and I'm thinking, $25, $2,500. said, no, just 25. He brought out a uh, a product and yeah it's a pretty cheap style so I don't know if I'll get it um, I, maybe I'll find a better quality on like Etsy or something handmade but yeah I was not expecting it to be that low of a price not too crazy for wait times today the longest I think is the Simpsons at 35 minutes for a holiday I'm actually surprised and the guitar has been dethroned we have this back to the future hoverboard for 3200 signed by the cast of Back to the Future. Um, the shoes, wow, they're only 1100? That's actually less than I thought. And those skateboards are 125. Looks like Production Central is currently the top contender with that hoverboard at 3200 I will say though, don't ever buy autographs from theme parks because they are crazy overpriced. I'm sure you can buy it from third party or just a private seller for maybe two grand, 2,500 at the most, depending on the condition and of course who witnessed it, if it was authenticated all that. But yeah, 3,200 for that hoverboard so far, but we still have plenty of more stores to go through. So let's keep going on the hunt. Surprised. I really haven't found any expensive or crazy expensive item in Wizarding, Wizarding World. I would have thought this would be the place where you'd find like a really cool Harry Potter prop replica or like a costume or something, but everything is pretty reasonably priced for what it is. I guess we're heading to the uh, lower lot now and maybe we'll find something in the Transformers gift shop or um, uh, the Jurassic gift shop. Yeah, no. 
I am in search for the Allspark. So here in the Transformer store, they have these amazing statues that I absolutely love. I'm not a big enough Transformers fan where I would collect maybe the whole line, but maybe like an Optimus and a Bumblebee. But let's take a look and see how much they are. We got Ratchet at $23.70. We have the Gold Generation Optimus at $2,100. We have Jazz at 1975 We have some smaller busts at 400 Some cells up there, nothing too crazy. We have a action figure, 125 Let's see. A classic scale statue to a 95. Sound wave and ravage for 45. We got a Megatron Beast War statue, 22.75. But there's one more. The granddaddy of them all. Sorry about the glare and the background music, but we've got the Megatron Last Night statue, $3,655, limited edition, $500. This is currently the top contender of the most expensive item. This thing is pretty freaking cool. of it you can see it better so currently the transformer supply vault has that megatron statue at 3600 so i got a few more stores to check out so let's go uh, find out what we can find you're not gonna believe what's the most expensive item five dollars for a bottle of coke <laughs> now these aren't for sale but these are original props from jurassic world which i think would bring in a pretty penny so unfortunately, they don't make the running for most expensive item, but I still had to show these off. Some more statues here. They're not too expensive. We saw this one earlier. We saw that one. Now there is this T-Rex attack statue set, which together is 5,000 if you buy both of them. I, technically you need to buy both. You can't really just buy one. So I'm gonna put this as one purchase at five grand. Yeah, that's the winner. Well, the current winner, the top contender. We've got this again. A pretty overpriced set. You're mostly paying for the frame and display. That is probably just a random mold or casting of a nail. Another item not for sale, but an original from Jurassic Park, a lab coat. This one statue was quickly dethroned over at Jurassic Outfitters. I'm gonna count that statue set as one purchase because you can't really buy both or each of them separately. You have to buy both of them to make that whole set. So five grand is the current highest price that we have. I don't think there's any more stores inside the park. So I'm gonna have to go to CityWalk and see possibly what they have that can beat that price. Super Mario World is slowly coming together. Finally got some butterbeer, it's been so long. It's always good. I think I pointed this out in one of my last videos when I was here. But when you come through Hogsmeade and the Wizarding World, and you sit under this, uh, they have all the owls sitting up on the top. So I'll flip the camera around so you can see it.
please remain seated, keeping your arms and legs inside the vehicle and out. Psycho House. One of the most impressive sets ever created, this spectacular crash site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. So I just got done with the park. I went on the tram and it started pouring rain. It just stopped now. So I was planning to head out anyway, but I don't want to be stuck when another downpour comes. It was actually getting pretty warm earlier and it got really cold all of a sudden while we were on the tram. I'm gonna head over to City Walk, check out the last few stores there. I know there is also the Universal store and then there's things from another world. I will include that in the most expensive things if there's anything pretty expensive there even though it's not technically a universal store but it's on universal property i know people are going to come at me say it's not a universal store well to me it is so <laughs> let's uh go see right now the current first place uh expensive item is that jurassic park statue set for five thousand dollars so let's see if anything comes close to that or maybe beats it i'm shocked at how cheap this room is it's only three hundred dollars wow i'm not a big enough harry potter fan where i would buy it but it's a pretty good deal and it's, it's a pretty cool collectible it is the nimbus 3000 wow that's pretty cool 300 bucks that is cheap and i'm not sure where this stands right now maybe number three or four but the bumblebee statue you want me to carry the bag Surprisingly to me, Things From Another World had nothing over maybe $800, a thousand at the most. Nothing to even make the running of the top five or even the top ten of most expensive items at Universal Studios. That Jurassic Park statue set is the most expensive and the winner of today's vlog. Thank you all for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you again for watching. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel. Like I mentioned, I'm back at Universal, so plenty of more Universal videos to come and more Disney videos, just more of everything this year. Let's make it another great year. Well, a great year after last year, and we'll see you next time.